안녕하세요. 저는 로키입니다. And welcome to today's video where we have got another episode of Show Me The Artist. And today's feature is Big Bang. So otherwise known as the kings of K-pop. Now, bro, I'm mega excited for this one because uh, as I've said, as I said uh, in the uh, still life reaction even too, we do intend on continuing Big Bang um, over here, not only on the channel, but also over on the Patreon too. Eventually when we do wind up getting to uh, a bit more of their discography, but basically uh, this is a brand new series for those of you guys who might be over here for the first time or those of you guys who might have just discovered the channel or um, are just perhaps coming back and just seeing Big Bang. Uh, this is a brand new series where basically I dive even further into artists that I either know a little bit about of but want to know a little bit more about um, or don't know about at all. Now, um, I have talked about Big Bang before. I have reacted to um, their some of their music videos before too, but I've listened pretty much to the majority um, of their main and like most famous titles, I guess you could say, um, since, you know, I really kind of got into K-pop. So things like Bebe, things like Bang Bang Bang, um, Eta Morigeta as well, so fuck it. Um, I've listened to and watched Haru Haru as well. Um, there's a ton of other stuff uh, that I've seen, of course, as well too. So um, GD and Taeyang, so good boy. Um, I've seen some of GD's individual, so his solo music videos as well off the top of my head. Um, Niga Monde, of course, is one, and I think uh, Pitake as well. Yeah, Crooked, I think. I, I can't quite, I can't quite remember um, exactly what those, what, what, which ones of those I've seen, but I know which ones I haven't seen, and they are some of, some of them today are these four. So we have got We Belong Together, uh, which is back in two thousand and eight. Uh, at least when it was posted, but maybe it was... Oh no, so first single, there we go. So it was earlier than that. Um, so we've got We Belong Together, we've got Big Bang, and of course, the Queens of K-pop along with that too. So to anyone, uh, their Lollipop MV, then we have got Blue, and then we have got GD and Top with Joro, otherwise known as Zata in English. But uh, yeah, bro, I'm very excited, very keen. Like I said before, uh, there is obviously a lot more that I want to get into too. There's certain MVs that I haven't watched or certain songs I haven't listened to. Forever With You is one of them. Um, I think that if I wound up scrolling down, yeah, see, like, la, 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 like, uh, there's la, 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 there we go, la, la, la. Um, I haven't seen either. Taeyang, some of his songs I've seen. Um, Last Dance, I can't even remember if I've... Uh, I don't know about Last Dance. Uh, Majima Ginsa, I think I've probably heard in passing. My Heaven. There's tons. A Full of Tears, I haven't heard either. Like, there's tons of stuff that I haven't seen. So, um, hopefully, obviously, if we wind up enjoying this. And if you guys enjoy this too and want to stick around for more, then uh, we'll get to go ahead and obviously do more Big Bang reactions in the future. But without any further ado, we have got We Belong Together MV. Let's go ahead and give this one a massive old like. Full screen and start in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. I doubt we have subs. Auto generate, nah, we good. Baby Bull. Baby Bull on them. <laughs> I'm always thinking about you still. Oh, sheesh. Well, you doing? So like I'm always trash. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Ooh. Hey. 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 Are uh, probably 21. Maybe Bomb or CL. Uh, uh. Sounds like Bomb. Uh. Uh, dude, they look so baby. Oh my god, not the phone. <laughs> not the phone. <laughs> hey, hey. Dude, it's just bouncy, damn. Bro, I love this, damn. I don't know, maybe if I'm just in an era where I love going back to this sound, but it's, uh, it's super well done, bro. Ah. Dude, Bomb sounds great. Yes! Damn, bro. Ooh, stop, please. 
Damn, bro. The flow, damn. Have you told me something there? Dude, this is vibey. Hey. Uh, uh. Uh, Indoor basketball courts. Hey. Bro. I think you are. Oh, vocals. Ooh. Damn. I love how uh, you kind of look back on it and laugh. Like the era that is. But it's actually so, like it's so good musically. It's a vibe. Hey. Damn, bro, Taeyong in the back. Damn, bro, that's crazy. It's um, it's oh. How could I forget? It's second gen. Of course, there's something else afterwards. Okay, damn. It's Big Bang Step Up version, bro. Damn. Ah. Oh shit, bro, we're going insane. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. I don't want to battle with you. I don't want to battle with you. No one wants to battle with you, bro. No one wants to battle with you even today. Still not. That's crazy. Bro, look. I think um, one of the things that I enjoy about it the most is, I mean, like... It's definitely a song that I could see living on my playlist purely just because it kind of throws back to that type of vibe that I really enjoy. Like, um, we were saying this earlier with, because uh, we've done also Show Me The Artist episodes for 2PM and we've also done them for Super Junior now. And uh, Super Junior's You, personally, was a song where I was like, wow, I need to have this on my playlist and have listened to it again since, even though the song is old, old, like we talking old, old. And then uh, also with 2PM's like, I'll be back, you know, whilst these are songs that, um, you know, quite literally belong and live in a completely gen different generation of K-pop and may very well be, you know, 10, 15, maybe even so, so many years older. I think the one thing that I like about them is that sound wise, I think that they've aged quite well. Like they've, they've been able to like have some level of staying power, even when now I think I would still listen to this and it just makes me like nostalgic but i'm actually invested in the song i'm not just listening to it because i'm like oh well this takes me back like this takes me back to a certain era like it's a bit more than that like musically it's actually enjoyable to follow along with and i feel like on top of that too maybe it's purely just because of the fact that we've got um 21 vocals in the back too the vocals really really lift the song too just on top of the fact that uh, you know, we've got them essentially rapping for the majority of it because, I mean, I love being given that. I love that concept that they've obviously debuted. Uh, sorry, that, not that they debut, debut with per se, but that they embody there because they've really kind of carried this through out their career. Like, it's not necessarily something that they just abandoned at any point. But, like, I love the way that the vocals actually do wind up, you know, really bringing that song up even more to something I think that I would definitely put on my playlist. So, I really enjoyed that. But... Big Bang and 21, Lollipop. Um, I don't know whether or not Big Bang and 21 did much together uh, as far as like um, collaborative 
projects and stuff like that are concerned but i mean naturally being part of the same agency i would assume that there's maybe more stuff too if there are more songs out there of them um of them together please do let me know because i would be quite interested to see and to hear of course uh what they sound like but lollipop three two one let's go oh it's a cf song okay still that's pretty crazy though they did a collab for a cf that's so good nah that's not how we do it Ooh, damn! Ah, bro, Dada, my god. <laughs> ah, there's lots more? Okay, I'm mega stoked with that. Ooh. Hey, the frames with no lenses in them. I love it. Ah. Bunchak Stag, yeah. Dude, <laughs> GD looks like he's like a hotelier, bro. Like, <laughs> my man just walked away from his part time job at a hotel to come and dance with 21. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> When's GD getting my luggage, man? Ah. <laughs> uh. It's vibey. Ooh, you're my lollipop. Okay. Oh. Our man's. Ooh, damn, killer Taeyang. Ooh. Ugh. Dude, the way this man moves. F R E S H. Damn, bro. It means you crazy. Hey, ah. Dude, this look on top is actually something I really like. <laughs> I can't uh, quite think of. What it reminds me of, or who it reminds me of. Got you. Uh, uh. Damn, bro. Man. I don't care, hey, Kesang is actually mad handsome, bro. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Dude, it's mad catchy, damn. Mad catchy. Crazy. Alright, I like it. I actually like that. I, I wonder if I'll playlist it though, eh? I feel like it's gonna be a song though that actually winds up just being stuck in my head even though now I know that it's a CF, but also on top of that, like it's um it's definitely It's definitely more that club type sound, I think that you definitely like would have heard it played in a bit. I feel like this would have been definitely one of those types of sounds that would have been very overplayed and very well played in clubs. And when I say overplayed, I don't necessarily mean in a bad way, but it would have been played a lot. I can probably see that. It reminds me of like, yeah, those early 2000s clubs vibes. I don't think that I re generally like revisit that sound that much anymore, but I think I think I would listen to that again, actually. Low key. Low key. Anyway, blue. Three, two, one. Let's go. No subs. Okay. We good. Ah shit, the hair's going wild here. Damn, okay, this color grading again, we emo. Ooh, I like it. Oh, hey. Kinda reminds me of uh, 
Damn, when was this actually? 2012. Shit. Dude, I love Big Bang when they're in their like mad hype era, but also when they get emo, they get like mad emo. And emo being emotional, not the genre. I can definitely already see myself listening to this for sure. Oh, damn, Hesan. Damn, dude. Taeyang's hair. Taeyang's hair. Did he have two different hair colors in this MV? He does, damn, okay, shit. I love how, like, desaturated and cold it is, too. Like, those blues, quite literally, that hue has been pushed a lot, but they're wearing certain items of clothing that just pops. Like top with the trench coat, TV with the beanie and the bangs. For real. I really like this beat, man. That in the back too, like that little phaser sound. Bro, in Big Bang 2, they sing about the seasons quite a lot as well, man. Like, you know, as well, too, I feel like they carry this represent, like, sorry, this represent, I feel like they carry this impression where they just do hard music, but this just reminds you that, like, they have the ability to cover both ends of the spectrum and everything in between. Because it's so soft. Yeah, no, for sure. This is definitely a song for sure that I can listen to and that I will see myself listening to even more. For sure. Blues is great. It reminds me, um, I don't know whether it's just the MV per se, but it reminds me a lot of, uh, I think Kojima, just because Kojima, I think off the top of my head, uses a decent amount of black and white, but then like maybe like a little bit of sober as well too. I'm not entirely sure, but um, yeah, I really enjoyed that song. I think the one thing that I love about it it's just that, like, especially if you're diving into them, regardless of whether it has been that you've listened to a lot of their uh, music already, or the fact that maybe, um, you know, you're diving into them for the very first time or whatever, uh, one of the things about them that I really enjoy is that they've got that hard style that you can really get into, like, say, uh, Bebe, they've got Bang Bang Bang, um, you know, you can really just kind of go absolutely crazy with Big Bang's tracks like that, but then when you've got tracks like Blue, um, that are, are a lot more emo and that, you know, are much more emotional, a little deeper, and the lyrics are like that too. And then, you know, everything that's kind of in between where we get playful music from them too. Um, I think that they body all the concepts that they do. And uh, on top of that too, I feel like Blue is just one of those types of like chill, laid back songs that you can listen to when you're feeling anything but like super hyped, if that makes sense. So I can see myself listening to that for sure. Anyway, we've got Joro, so Zara, massive old like, full screen, three, two, one. Let's go. Rap line. I'm keen. Really? Damn. Oh, that's awesome, Mini. That's crazy. Ah. I feel 
feel like this beat was mad popular. Actually, it reminds me of early 2000s hip hop. Oh, G O D. Ah, G O D. Ah, G O D. You wanna succeed? Yeah, I'm the manual. Damn, alright, copy me real quick. Hang on, Mr. Conde? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, this is kind of hard. So, Gonde, Gonde in Korean is like an older person that, like, basically is just like lecturing. I guess the best way to kind of put it is like someone older than you that's like lecturing like younger people, being like, "Hey, you shouldn't fucking do that. You shouldn't live your life like that. You should do this. Look back in my day." Like, that's a that's a Gonde, right? So, boomer, right? Yeah, boomer is probably the best way to put it. Oh, dude, I love this. This is fire. Uh -huh. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's start again. Let's start again. I'm done. I won't pause anymore. I don't apologize, I'm not sorry about it, but I won't do it. That's crazy. Keyboards over here. Damn. Easily my favorite song so far. Easily. So like, Choro is like dope, sick. My rap, my style. Yeah. Oh shit! Shits and we killing. That's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. You know that? My man just with that drunk flow. Uh. 
자 지배 돈이 와 대기리의 학자 웃어봐요 활자 우리 둘은 탁자 지배 Dude talk to him with that smile on his face 총알 넣고 탕탕 가 오늘 밤 우리 피키 피키 Hey yeah Wow, we pissing everywhere. <laughs> We're pissing everywhere. Bro, that's crazy. Freaky, freaky, hey, yeah. We're pissing on each other. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> yeah, look, that's crazy. Wait, was the license plate dope? Yeah, damn, true. Damn, that's crazy. Holy shit. Um, low-key, I did not expect, low-key, I did not expect a song like that to come out of Big Bang. But I did, but I didn't, if that makes sense. Like, how can I put, um, how can I put it? Like, I totally expected that they would be able to go this hard. However, I didn't think that Jodo was going to be the one where they did it. That's crazy. Yeah, they do things that other idols would never do, literally, because they're just not, they, they just, they just have the, well, one, how can I say it? They've got the ability to, and they've got the talent to back it up. Like, how can I put it? They talk their shit, but they also own their shit, if that makes sense. Like, they, they're not just all talk, they back it up all the time, and I love that. Um, the bars are crazy. Don't think I wasn't catching a lot of them because I was. The bars are insane. Um, that's wild. I'm mad impressed. I can't wait to actually go back and listen to this again. It's 100% a playlist. I think for me, um, the only one I'm a little unsure about is purely just Lollipop. But it's just one of those songs where, even like one of you guys said earlier, if you leave it, it's just going to be a song where probably in a couple of days, it'll just pop back into my head. And then I'll be like, you know what? Fuck it. It's in my head. I want to listen to it right now. You ever do that? You have a song that just kind of like nags you in the back of your head. It's like, hey, hey, play me. Do it. Like, it's it's one of those types of songs I really feel. So um, even then, whilst Lollipop may have just been like a little below um, in terms of like just the vibes and the way that I reacted to it to begin with compared to all of these other songs, I do think it's going to wind up being a song that eventually just gets stuck in my head and eventually winds up on my playlist anyway. Um, dude, Jodo arguably, <laughs> like without a doubt, is um my yeah that's my song that's fucking lit i cannot wait to listen to and even go further into the lyrics with that too that's 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 fucking wild um blue you know what what whiplash between blue and jota too like what fucking whiplash we just took like we just took the biggest l whiplash wise um i absolutely loved that and then on top of that um, we Belong Together, I think, is is also a vibe that I think I really like and really enjoy too, and we'll wind up revisiting. I think that that probably is just maybe due to the fact that right now, um, I feel like I'm cycling through um, a lot of, like, older songs that I really enjoy. Like, I think the older style is, like, really coming kind of back into, um, back into fashion for me. Like, more of that, um, more of that, like, uh, fuck, English, please, would be great, man. I can't. Um, look, yeah. Um, yeah. Word? Coming back into fashion and them enjoying it. Let's just say that. Anyway, um, I'm clearly kind of cooked right now, so I'm going to go ahead uh, and end this video here. But I'm really happy. Nine, yeah, 2000s R&B. Big Bang indeed. Um, I am really happy that I got to catch this one with you guys today. And then, of course, that Big Bang even winds up being featured uh, in Show Me The Artist. I, I, I kind of thought about it. I thought, oh, have I listened to too much Big Bang to be able to really, like, continue them in this series? Like, how is it? What standard, what standard am I kind of holding um, the artists by where I'm listening to them in this series? And really, it's like, if I want to dive further into an artist, then I don't see why I shouldn't. Um, I've already done it with 2PM, and, you know, there's still so much to learn. I mean, just hearing Big Bangs like Bang 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 and Bebe Be and... You know, um, you know, uh, Eremoregeta, Still Life, and a lot more. Like, just kind of stopping there, I feel, um, is kind of silly. So, of course, we're going to continue to go even further uh, into them. Now, of course, Naturally Fantastic Baby is a song that I've heard too. Pretty much, like, the biggest, most uh, popular songs, I think, that you could think of. Um, like, group-wise, uh, the ones I think that I've heard. Um, when we're talking, like, Jodo, though, I hadn't ever gone into that. The only, like, subunit that I'd ever really ventured into was uh, GD and uh, Taeyang with Good Boy. 
because that's my shit too. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. I found a brand new favorite Big Bang song, for, so that's fucking awesome um, to go ahead and add to that list. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed, hopefully, going down memory lane with me. Uh, and uh, yeah, for those of you guys who maybe we might have pulled in, if you happen to have just become a VIP, or if you do happen to have you know, got into Big Bang because of this stream or something as well too. I hope that you guys can, uh, of course, enjoy the journey going forward, continuing with me on future episodes of Show Me The Artist. But if you enjoyed it and you'd like to stick around for more Big Bang reactions, because there will be, then of course, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And I mean, do keep an eye on the Patreon. Uh, you can just follow it if you'd like to um, keep up to date with, you know, album listens and all of that type of stuff, live stages, concerts, if we do ever do them. Um, I did have some stuff planned for Big Bang over there, but um, you know, I've, I've restructured a lot over on the Patreon over the, over the past year and a bit. So um, it's been relatively hard to get to everything such as life and such as being a content creator that's interested in a lot of music, but uh, we will eventually get there. So do keep your eyes out for that. But until next time, love and appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.